everybody. Good to see you again. Uh, today, I would like to talk to you about Visual Studio, specifically adding SAS and Compass into Visual Studio. I know you're thinking, can you actually do that? Yes, yes, you can. Thank goodness you can. Uh, when I first started developing inside of Visual Studio, I was under the impression that there was no way uh, to get SAS within my environment. I thought, how do I even get something like that running in the Solution Explorer? I had no idea. Uh, I thought I was going to have to go back to just writing vanilla CSS without variables, mixins, functions, etc. Um, yeah, I was distraught, to say the least. Um, I had a look around the internet and uh, I saw that there was a, uh, you know, the, the normal solutions out there is things like CodeKit, which um, not only watches, compiles, uh, but, you know, has a lot of value to where you can add um, projects and framework management tools. Um, you know, these things are built in. Then you have things like the Compass app, which I'm sure everybody out there loves. Uh, I know I do, uh, which is a, a, a sleek interface. Uh, very nice to use, but how do you get something like that into Visual Studio? So I thought maybe there's one of those kinds of apps for um, just Windows uh, that I could also use that would kind of bring it into the solution. Like something like the, uh, and I know I'm saying this wrong, the, uh, what is it, Prepos, the Prepos app, which works on um, Mac and, and Windows, which is nice. It's pretty much a code kit, and it's a nice experience, but... Again, you cannot get that to work with inside of the solution. It, it, it just doesn't work. Uh, so what I looked into was just maybe finding some kind of uh, extensions for Visual Studio to run. So the first thing that I came across was uh, Sassy Studio. Sassy Studio is pretty nice. Um, you could uh, operate the app with inside of um, you know the Solution Explorer. Uh, it's, 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 it's nicely done. It, it gave me the ability to use my, uh, my, my SAS magical powers again, but it didn't have things like, uh, like Compass built in. Things that as a SAS developer, you really, uh, rely on these tools to, to, to generate your, uh, CSS and all your other things like, uh, browser prefixes, your transitions, your image spriting and such. So who would want to be without that? So I looked around the internet a little bit more and uh, asked some people what their opinions are because someone, again, had to have uh, found this. And our dear Lord and Savior Google told me about Mindscape Workbench. Mindscape Workbench, wonderful tool. Uh, so uh, this extension actually added everything in that a .NET developer would require to run SAS with inside of their solution. Um, when I was working with um, Mindscape Workbench, I noticed that it's virtually uh, effortless to add your um, your SAS files in there. Uh, you could even change the path up to say, you know, if, if you want it. But by default, it, it puts all the CSS compiled into the same path where your SAS is. So instead of going into, say, the um, the config uh, R, R, RB file, the, the Ruby file, to say, okay, this is where I want my path to be, or this is how I want the um, the CSS to compress to. You could just go inside the Mindscape interface, uh, select your path, choose where you want all the files to go. Uh, you could choose if you want it to compile, um, compressed, or whatnot, nested. However you like, it's all in one nice, easy-to-use extension. Um, the only thing about the extension, it's, it's free, which is great, but it is $39 for the paid version of the extension, which gives you um, some of the extra uh, CSS minification things, which you're you're gonna want that. Obviously, that's a uh, that's a given. But I say money well spent, and it's it's not just for SaaS. So if you're a less developer, you're gonna like this too because it empowers you to use not only SaaS but less and um, CoffeeScript. So if you are a uh, big JS guy and you or girl, and, and you really like uh, writing inside of CoffeeScript for your JS, there you go. Beautiful extension. So uh, take a look, um, download the extension, 
Tell me what you think. Uh, and please leave a comment on the uh, on the post for me. And uh, uh, give me a shout out. <laughs>